Hello students, welcome to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as you all know, there is only two days left for your KSET exam. So you will be receiving in the exam, as you know, it is a pen paper test exam. So you will be having the question paper and you will be also receiving of the OMR sheet, right? So filling the OMR sheet accurately is very, very important. So like for example, if you do any mistake in this, any, any filling you do it wrong, your answer sheet may not be evaluated, right? So it is very important that you know how to fill the OMR sheet. So in this video, I'll be discussing some important segments that is present in your OMR sheet and the correct way of filling it, right? So this is an OMR sheet which is available in the KSET website, in the official website. This OMR sheet was from 2013. There may be some changes in the recent OMR that you'll be getting in the exam, but there is like, this is the basics that will be present in all the OMR sheets. So just you have to follow the instructions carefully in the exam. Okay, just listen to the instructor, please. Uh, follow them religiously, okay? So I'll be discussing the important points in the uh, OMR sheet. So first of all, in the OMR sheet, you have to, the first column is name of the candidate, okay? So you have to write your name using the block letters only. And you know, as you, in the exam, you are allowed only blue or uh, black ballpoint pen. So use any one pen and just write your name with the full name, which is present in your admit card, write down them correctly using block letters only, okay? So like, for example, your name is Arun, you can write it out. A R U N and then whatever, just write down the full name here, right? So that is the first thing. Second is question booklet serial number, okay? So you will be getting the question paper. So in that question paper, you will be having a question booklet serial number. So that number you have to write in this segment, okay? Any number, whatever it is given, like 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 7, 8, 4, okay? So whatever it is there, just write it down correctly in the question booklet serial number, okay? Now, next one is your CT number, okay? Now, this CT number will be present. You can check it is present in your admit card, okay? The format may be different, but CT number is there in the admit card. From that, you have to check it and write in this box. So, here you have to not only write, but you also have to bubble the, you also have to circle the bubbles given in the column. Now, for example, the number is like A, B, 1, 2, and 3. So, you have to just circle this A here, okay? And then you have to circle the B present here. And then we have 1, okay, 1, 2, and 3, okay. So this is very important of that you should bubble it correctly, okay. So I'll also discuss how to bubble it correctly. What are the steps to follow it? So after writing the CT number, we have the fourth column that is question booklet version code, okay. So there are different codes like A1, A2, A3, A4 or depending on the question papers. So first of all, you have to write it here. For example, it is A1. So write down A1 and then circle the A1 given here, okay? So this is how you have to write the, uh, fill the four segments, okay? After this, you can go and fill your answers. So you have to read the question paper once you do the answers. Like for example, for question number one, the answer is option number three. So or C, you have to go to this and then you have to bubble it. So while bubbling, you have to take certain things. You should not take the answer, okay? So there are some methods here. You should not take it and you should not bubble two, ans two options at a time for the same question. If you do so, that question will not be evaluated, okay? Even if you have the correct answer there, that it will not be evaluated. So after doing this, you should not put any tick mark. You should not do uh, two bubbles for the same question and the the when you bubble it, the circle, it should not go out, outside the circle, okay? So just take, take it properly to the border properly and then you can bubble it, okay? So these were the some important tips that you must do. Because filling of OMR sheet is very, very important. If you do any mistake here, the answer sheets will not be evaluated and your results will be impacted. So just please follow these steps, okay? So you, you will be having 60 questions for the exam, right? So the correct way of filling the OMR sheet for the answers is you can solve 20 questions, first 20, and then circle the bubbles. And then you can like after that next 20 and then next 20, okay? Do not keep all the questions to be filled at the end. This may be like there's a burden that you have to still fill the OMR sheet. So just that will help, that will create some panic in you. So just avoid it, solve first 20 or whichever you are solving, 2020 you can fill it. So it goes hand in hand, you are not confused and you are not even, you'll have some buffer time to review the questions. And even if you don't know any question or answers of any question, since this, there's no negative marking in the exam, so just go and fill it. If you have some elimination method, you can try even if you don't know, but just attempt all the questions. There may be a possibility that the answer gets correct, right? So focus on maximum accuracy and then attempt all the questions within the limit time, okay? 
Now again, uh, this is very important that as I told you from the starting, this is a sample OMR sheet which is present in the website. This paper was from 2013, this OMR. So there may be some changes in the OMR sheet that you receive in the KSET actual exam day. So that is why just follow the instructions. If you have any doubt, talk to the instructor, clear it. But it is very important that you fill the OMR sheet correctly with 100% accuracy. Okay? Any mistake in this point or in this part will uh, lead to that uh, you are, uh, maybe that your answer sheet will not be evaluated or you may not get any extra OMR sheet also. Okay? So please be very careful and fill the OMR sheet with 100% accuracy with full concentration. If you have any doubt, talk to your instructors, they will definitely help you. So thank you and all the very best for your exam.